That sucks. All because of some stupid ghost story. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 terrifying short horror films you can watch on YouTube. No, no. Leave me alone. Get away from me. You're scaring me. Stop it. You're going to die. For this list, we'll be looking at the greatest and scariest short horror films you can find and watch completely for free on YouTube. Quick note for you, spoiler warning is now in effect. Have you seen any of these short films? Let us know in the comments below. Now, let's get freaky. Number 10. It Had Pale Skin Never mind the film itself, that title is enough to give someone shivers. Running just four and a half minutes long, It Had Pale Skin was uploaded by Christopher Ashton back in March of 2016. The short film opens up with a young woman walking down a pitch black street when she begins to hear noises around her. After some more bizarre events transpire, the woman sees what appears to be a clown in the distance. It's not until later that viewers and the woman get a full glimpse. It stands in the shadows, smiling and honking its own severed nose. Clowns may be a little overdone by this point, but this is an effective and creepy short. Number 9. Never Hike Alone If you want something a bit more high gloss, then Never Hike Alone is your movie. Uploaded by Womp Stomp Films, Never Hike Alone is a fan-made film that takes place in the Friday the 13th universe. But, you know, now that I'm here and I get to see this place in person, I kind of feel sorry for it. I mean, aside from your lonesome trespassing hiker, no one gets to experience this place again. That sucks. All because of some stupid ghost story. It follows a hiker and adventure blogger named Kyle who stumbles across Camp Crystal Lake and comes face to face with Jason Voorhees. The film runs just over 50 minutes and those 50 minutes are packed with sequences that are genuinely frightening. This is exceptional stuff for a cheap fan-made film and it's arguably even better than some of the official movies. It currently has over 2 million views on YouTube, with many viewers singing its praises. Number 8. On My Way This short film is quite unique as it takes place on Halloween and is filmed in one continuous shot. Uploaded by Make Do Entertainment, On My Way literally follows a police officer as he makes his way to a Halloween party. But as he drives through town, he makes the unsettling realization that the town's citizens are acting violent and confrontational. No, no. Leave me alone. Get away from me. It's a very good and very well made short film, not only for its unbroken shot, but also its choreography, staging, and filmmaking flourishes like the police officer's text messages showing up on screen. Our limited point of view also makes the events scarier and more mysterious. And the fact that everything remains unexplained serves as a perfect ending. <laughs> Number 7. Daddy Made by the Box Leitner brothers, Daddy runs at just under 4 minutes, resulting in a taut and effective little film. More of a personal drama than a horror film, Daddy concerns a man who dreams of his deceased daughter. Daddy, you're being silly. <laughs> she appears to him in the dreams, continuously calling for her daddy and asking him to wake up. It comes across more tragic than scary until the final jump scare when things turn a bit more malicious. <laughs> The short makes for difficult viewing as it covers one of the saddest and most tragic events that could ever befall a human being, the death of a child. She's here. Stop it! Daddy mixes this with some good creep out moments, making for a troubling few minutes. Number 6. The Maiden Running at just under 9 minutes, The Maiden tells the story of a real estate agent who is haunted by a malicious figure in an old house. 
Not only is it scary, but it's also exceptionally well made. The lighting, cinematography, acting, and sound editing are all of Hollywood caliber, and it resulted in The Maiden winning the Best Super Short Horror Film Award at Shriekfest 2016. <laughs> the movie is directed by Michael Shavs, who would later go on to direct both The Curse of La Llorona and The Conjuring, The Devil Made Me Do It. According to the video description, it was The Maiden that got Shavs' foot in the door and eventually landed in the La Llorona job with James Wan. This place is going to be great. Number 5. Vicious This 12-minute long horror film begins with a terrifying and grounded scenario as a woman arrives home to find her front door unlocked. It's a creepy scenario on the best of days, and Vicious warps it into a fascinating short horror film that won numerous awards around the globe. It's easy to see why. You're scaring me, stop it! Like The Maiden, Vicious is filmed with an amazing eye for quality. Every aspect of its production was professionally conducted, and it would fit snugly into a high-budget Hollywood horror film. It also helps that the movie is just plain scary, complete with near-unbearable tension and more than just its fair share of unsettling imagery. The awards were well-deserved, and Vicious comes highly recommended. Number 4 Alexia. An Argentinian film by Andre Borghi, Alexia has strong, unfriended vibes, as most of its action takes place on a computer screen. This short film follows a depressed and lonely man who is grieving his deceased ex girlfriend on her birthday. It's insinuated that she took her own life after the man dumped her. Attempting to move on, the man decides to unfriend her on Facebook. It's then that his computer begins acting funny, and he is seemingly contacted by her spirit through the computer. Things go off the rails when his new girlfriend comes over for a visit. The unique concept actually predates Unfriended, as Alexia premiered at a horror film festival in October 2013. Points for originality. Number 3. Mama. Victoria, despierta, nos tenemos que ir, vamos. Huh? Mama vuelto. In 2013, a horror film called Mama grossed nearly $150 million at the box office. It was produced by Guillermo del Toro and starred both Jessica Chastain and the newly famous Nikolai Coster Waldau. It was based on the short horror film and was directed by the same Argentinian filmmaker, Andy Muschietti, who later went on to direct both It and It Chapter 2. The original film runs just under three minutes and it follows two young girls who are haunted by a supernatural entity. The short film was praised by Guillermo del Toro, and he decided to produce a feature-length movie to capitalize on the short film, its unique concept, and splendid visual scares. The result was one of 2013's most popular horror movies. Number 2. 2 AM, The Smiling Man Based on the popular Creepypasta, this short horror film by Michael Evans is one of the most popular on YouTube. The concept is simple. A man is walking down a dark street at night when he is confronted by the titular Smiling Man. The Smiling Man has a permanent smile plastered on his face. He dances down the street while gazing at the sky, and he toys with the protagonist by lumbering towards him in long, creepy strides. What the hell do you want? What makes The Smiling Man so popular isn't its visuals, although those are certainly scary, but the grounded realism. Who hasn't been creeped out while walking alone at night? And who wouldn't feel chilled to the bone after being confronted by whatever The Smiling Man is? Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions that are sure to terrify. Tuck Me In. 
Putting a child to sleep has never been so scary. Daddy, there's somebody in my bed. Don't look away. With a title like that, how can you not be creeped out? The Passing, a scary film about two police officers and a woman looking for her daughter. You're gonna die. The Cop Cam, a police officer searches an abandoned house after receiving an emergency call. Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Right now! Trinidad King One, did you copy that? <laughs> Zygote, directed by Neil Blomkamp of District 9 fame. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Lights Out Like Mama, the success of Lights Out eventually led to a major Hollywood deal. The original short was released in 2013 and runs just under three minutes. Made specifically for a film competition, Lights Out sees a woman played by Lata Lostian being hunted by a shadow figure in the dark. The short film is well made, complete with some excellent editing, lighting, and sound design. Several Hollywood agents got in contact with director David Sandberg, leading to a feature-length deal with producer James Wan. Lights Out was made for $5 million and ended up grossing nearly $150 million throughout the summer of 2016. Sandberg has since directed both Annabelle Creation and the superhero film Shazam. Talk about a success story. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.